This is Osama Manzar. His work is to connect rural India that has zero connectivity to the internet. That's what he was doing in a salt desert at Run of Kutch a few weeks ago, helping the local salt farmers that belong to a community called Agarya to the internet. So why did you zero down on Run of Kutch? Well, it's an interesting uh, question in the sense that uh, Run of Kutch is a zero survey area. Uh, it is technically and, and, and legally known as zero survey area. It, they have never been surveyed in independent India. And uh, the most of the Agaryas, the, the tribal people who live there who do uh, salt pan farming, uh, they, they, they are about 5,000 and they live in an area which is not visited by anybody. Nobody goes there, there is no habitation. Uh, it is also uh, wild uh, as sanctuary. So as many uh, donkeys are there, there are as many uh, Agaryas. So when I visited, I was fascinated by their work, by their tribe, by their mix, by their music, by their folk, by their practice, by their business, by their, you know, ancient um, and, uh, and, and uh, you know, the culture of uh, traditionally uh, um, uh, salt farming. But they are not connected. And, uh, you know, we as an organization, Digital Empowerment Foundation, we always look for difficult areas where we can bring connectivity and bring them at par with the rest of the world. And uh, we realize that, you know, they are the people who feed us with their salt, but we are not feeding with the information linkage to them. And that's the reason we thought that let's go and connect them in whatever situation they are. How do you connect somebody who's totally isolated from technology and introduce them to technology? Like, what do you say? What's the first line you say? So actually, we do not say that we are connecting you to technology. We do not treat technology as a technology. We treat digital and technology purely as a medium. This medium is so important that if we are not connected, we are excluded. And they are the excluded community uh, uh, today for, from all perspective. They don't have a, uh, access to entitlement. They don't have access to education. They don't have access to market opportunities. So many things, you know. So, uh, you know, we don't even... So as soon as we introduce, we don't go with curriculum. We don't go with technological word. We don't go with jargons. We say, try. And I mean, they just start trying. Uh, we are calling it Zero Connect uh, project, which is an initiative of uh, Digital Empowerment Foundation and Internet Society uh, to bring the connectivity to the last mile. So in this case, the zero survey area um, of Agaria, this is called Little Run of Kutch. So it is the little part of the run of in the bigger Kutch, uh, which is about 5,000 people live there. So this vehicle is actually designed to have LCD projector in it, uh, tablets in it, battery, solar panel and everything. But the most important thing is that uh, it, it has got a flexible 5 meter tall um, uh, tripod, uh, dismantleable, uh, expandable tripod which has got a dish antenna, which has got a, a huge rod which can take it to 360 degree. So it has got, um, uh, and all under technology by the way. So what it does is that it goes to different location in the little run of Kutch and from there we have, we have been uh, aligning line of sight to the place from where the internet is being cat, you know, caught here. So we have, we have a place where we have the back hall, internet back hall and the shared tower uh, in a police station where the internet is available and it goes to 17 different locations from where it, it matches. So some locations are 20 kilometers, the minimum is 20, the maximum is about 50 to 60 kilometers in Little Run of Kush. So it goes from one place to other where the children have a makeshift school and also the families live. Uh, mining, I mean not mining, uh, farming the salt. So actually it's not a rocket science, it is just an application of existing technology in a very innovative and beautiful way. And uh, they all have a Wi-Fi, local Wi-Fi. So wherever this car goes, we have a Wi-Fi. So there are three things that we are doing there. One, their children should get access to knowledge, entertainment, Correct. everything, um, education. The second is we are surveying them and putting them on map that they exist. Mm -hmm. So in terms of they are being censused with yes. a photograph and location of their work, location of their stay and the location of their school and the location of themselves being mapped here from a uh, tablet based uh, uh, form and that they are you soon you will see spots on various parts of the kutch that they are online and they are they are existing their photographs are there their profiles are there and the third thing what we are doing is that that gadi itself the the van itself has got all the service oriented uh, gadgets for example printer lamination machine 
uh, Aadhaar card processing machines and so on and so on. Yeah, all those kind of things for which they used to go miles and miles to get. All of them are available on the doorsteps. What are the difficulties that you've seen, uh, you know, introducing all of this to them? Is there certain difficulties that you've seen? So, uh, difficulties are there in the sense that most of the content online is available in English and not local language. But what I see is that the enthusiasm of them to get connected and exploration mm -hmm. is so high that all these barriers look very, very small. Very, very small. Do you see any cultural uh, blocks when you introduce internet? There were concepts such which are so alien to us where they say when you give a smartphone to a girl, she might just run away, you know. And that is a... That is certainly true and I have said it many times, I am going to say it again, that internet is a serious uh, and mobile is a serious cultural challenge to a country like India because it gives you uh, individual rights. It gives you individual freedom. It gives you uh, individual opportunity. Uh, and therefore, and India is a patriarchal society where the control is a biggest framework of a family, of a community, of a society. And as soon as you individualize these access things, that means you are, uh, from them, their perspective, it is either breaking the community or breaking the family or giving too much independence to some people who they think is not right, either their children or their youth or their women. You know, if you constitute the entire population, the controllers are less than 20% who are male, you know, but they are the controllers. But uh, the larger part is family members, children, youth, and of course the woman, which is the second half and, and, and the most important half. And there has been example where you give a mobile to a woman and you see the independence in her, you see the freedom in her, you see the opportunity that they avail is, is tremendous. And somehow culturally we are not tuned to it. And I have told it many times that the biggest challenge India is going to have because of mobile is a cultural challenge of patriarchy. You know, serious challenge and I'm looking forward to it. It will create a miserable uh, scenario, but uh, I look forward to this misery of uh, the patriarchal society of India gets this challenge from our women to uh, come equal, come more independent and, and challenge the male. Uh, you know, why not? So the last question is, how do you think urban India can reach out, help out as an individual to this cause? So, you know, first of all, the re, uh, urban India should stop looking down upon rural India, you know, first. Second, they should stop thinking that they are the solution provider. Third, they should not think that what they are thinking is right and the other part is not thinking is right. The fourth is, I mean, they should be available on demand rather than available on their self-oriented you know, decision-making power of that what is good for the poor or what is good for rural India. And we should just think what rural India contributes to economy. Agriculture, women, you know, uh, empowerment, and all the cultural and heritage and, uh, uh, you know, all those contributions. Just think, can we connect that? That itself is that's good enough to get equally contributed. Think about agriculture is 35% of the economy of the country, you know getting them uh, digitally connected, that means you have half the women get connected, half the panchayat will get connected. Automatically, it's a big contribution to, uh, to, to urban India's understanding of the importance of rural and therefore technological contribution into that one. So similar things like that. So, uh, pat, you know what, patronizing attitude should go away. That was a pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it too. Thanks. Thank you.